Welcome, my name is Anindita and I am a Functional Medicine Certified Health Coach and a Practitioner and today I am going to be talking about three changes in your mindset that you can make uh, to, which has a tremendous effect on your body's healing process and uh, studies show that developing the right mindset uh, is important to deal with any kind of uh, health challenges or any, in fact any kind of challenges um, especially when you're dealing with a chronic illness which uh, tends to have a very long term kind of a healing process and uh, what I find is that this very important aspect of the healing process is often overlooked uh, or simply ignored uh, and not really talked about so I want to delve upon that because this actually forms an integral part of my own coaching program and in fact, uh, when it was uh, several years ago that uh, I was dealing with my daughter's health crisis and as the primary caregiver, I realized uh, very early on that it was the approach that I took, the mindset that I had, which would have a great huge bearing on her life and on her healing and whether it was, uh, you know, the way I saw her journey to be a glass half empty or rather a glass half full which is where I chose to focus on that would give her the hope and it would give us all the hope and the courage and the strength that we needed to continue soldiering on because when you are going through any kind of uh, challenges whether it's health related or otherwise a lot of times it feels that there is no light at the end of the tunnel right so uh, you know choosing where you want to focus on Choosing a positive kind of a mindset is challenging but it is necessary so that you can find uh, the strength to continue uh, as you go through ups and downs because let's face it, uh, we all deal with health challenges, right? Whether it's big or small, none of us uh, go through to the end of our life without having dealt with some kind of uh, health issues, right? And uh, it depends on how we actually what kind of approach that we take that we are able to cope well or whether we crumble under pressure and i have seen the same time and again with my coaching clients i've seen the same with other people and if you read about it in different books there's some excellent books on this uh, topic uh, you will find the same thing there's a huge uh, amount of research uh, that has also been done on this but one of the very first things that I want to mention before I get into what are those three changes that you would, you know you would need to probably make in your mindset, uh, one of the very first things is something that I came across in an excellent book, a very interesting book. Uh, it's by Carolyn Miss, and it's called Why People Don't Heal and How They Can, right? And it's about the intersection of mind and body, and how it has a effect, and it you know goes far beyond that, of course and uh, she talks about how people often stay wounded right it's the wounding that takes place and of course uh, if we are dealing with any kind of health issues we are wounded in in a sense right uh, and it's usually a physical wound as well as an emotional wound but what she goes on to say which is what i find very interesting and actually i didn't think about before i came across is that we can actually unintentionally remain stuck in a victim mode if we don't really know learn how to move through those challenges right and remaining stuck in a victim mode uh, and not being able to move through uh, what we are going through it does not really serve us it does not really help us to heal from what you know we are dealing with whatever health issues that we are dealing with because it's only when we uh, learn from our challenges only when we find the gifts that are usually hidden in those challenges and when we learn those lessons that we find the strength that we inherently have within us to deal with any kind of situation right so it's not uh, you know what your what you know life is throwing at you it's how you are dealing with the cards that you are dealt with right uh, so so of course focusing on the physical aspects of our health is really important especially when you're facing with any kind of chronic disease of course it is important that you see a doctor a medical professional uh, you know take medications go on particular treatments so that you can prevent further disease damage you can uh, actually be able to manage your life uh, maybe uh, you know get a hold of your symptoms uh, and so that you can start focusing on other aspects of your healing process your body's healing process and support it the way you need to 
uh, and often when we are dealing with so many health issues and there's a huge uh, you know amount of pain or uh, discomfort we can't really do the things that we need to so it is uh, you know important that we take the right kind of uh, medical advice but at the same time we don't have to necessarily only remain stuck there right so uh, we also need to uh, understand that our thoughts create our reality and our mindset has a huge role to play in how we will ultimately heal from any kind of chronic disease and as bruce lipton uh, says the moment you change your perception is the moment you rewrite the chemistry of your body right so your thoughts your uh, the words that you use in your mind has a powerful effect on your physical body right do not underestimate the power of your uh, thoughts of your mind um, and your beliefs act as a filter just like uh, you know on a camera or maybe a lens through which you see the world so when you become aware of what kind of beliefs that you have uh, whether it's serving you and if it's serving you then it's fine but if it's not serving you if it's keeping you stuck if it's limiting you in some way if it's not helping you get better then maybe you can choose to change those beliefs and that that uh, starts with knowing what kind of thoughts you are having and the words that you're using uh, in yourself because your body adapts to your beliefs right we know that now your body changes um, you know physiologically to whatever beliefs that you have whatever thoughts that you have and that means that your mind is a very powerful tool that you can use uh, intentionally to create health uh, we can also actually use it unintentionally to move towards disease but here i'm focusing on how you can use the power of your mind as a you know as a tool to create health and move your body towards health and wellness right so in this uh, session i am talking about three ways that you can change your mindset to heal from any kind of chronic condition i talked about how sometimes uh, you know we remain stuck in a wounded place and uh, remain stuck in a victim mode of course we all have our own wounds whether it's emotional physical uh, but sometimes being stuck and not being able to move through the challenges through the tragedies uh, no matter how big or small they are uh, can be really detrimental and keep us uh, you know from getting better so the three uh, changes that you can make in your mindset the number one would be accepting your body as it is right now right this is i think is a cornerstone of my a uh, coaching program where you are using a body guided approach which means that you are using your body is your guide as you go through the coaching program just as your body uh, has you know is your guide when you're trying to heal uh, from any kind of illness and this means that you stop judging and shaming your body for being ill for being the way it is right now it means that you give yourself grace give yourself grace Uh, for you know uh, for whatever you find your whatever circumstance that you find yourself right now and you show yourself some compassion the same way that you would show someone else uh, compassion if they were going through a tough time right so just not shaming yourself not judging yourself not blaming your body not judging your body for being ill uh, and you know just knowing that accepting is where you need to start because we are often conditioned to believe our body is inferior to our minds and disease is a sign that somehow our body has failed that cannot could not be further from the truth your body is trying desperately to keep you alive it will uh, in fact uh, at all cost uh, try to uh, you know you know it's number one its number one role is to uh, is survival right that's what it is designed for so it will do whatever it takes to make sure that you are alive because uh, you know otherwise it doesn't make any difference whether um, certain you know hormones are in balance whether everything is in place if a person is has you know has already died it doesn't make any difference so the number one role of the body so it sometimes can work against us because uh, certain things can become imbalanced over time because your body is trying to adapt to the environment that you're asking it to live in so uh, that is the number one thing so accepting your body as it is right now because it is trying to uh, support you in its own way and trying to keep you alive and your job is to support it in return 
Second would be learning how to support your body's uh, messages, right? Your body is constantly sending you messages long before a disease develops, long before you get a diagnosis. Your body was sending you messages, uh, whether it was that, you know, niggling headache, maybe a bit of slight rash, maybe, uh, you know, energy level fluctuation, maybe low energy level. So it was telling you that something is wrong and pay attention. Most of the times we, uh, you know, we choose to ignore, we are not actually taught how to pay attention, to listen to all these, these are in fact messages uh, till, it, till, it's, till it's too late, till it's uh, when, you know, till it reaches a uh, place where we are not able to ignore it anymore. So learning how to trust your body's messages, learning how to use your the inner guidance system that you have is a powerful tool and it's another thing that you can change in terms of your approach. And it you know then what happens is that often you will be able to um, address any kind of disease progression and you know sort of reverse it long before it becomes a proper disease. And the third thing that the third change that I want you to make in your mindset is uh, realizing that change and healing are one and the same. So healing is an inside job, right? It does not depend on external circumstances and external interventions, unlike getting cured. Now curing, getting cured from a disease entails that you have to get on some kind of treatment, uh, maybe take some medications and that usually applies to any kind of acute conditions if you're dealing with any kind of infection, if you are dealing with some acute situation, some emergency uh, surgery has to be done. So it's it works beautifully over there, but it fails to address uh, what goes on in any kind of chronic disease because chronic disease is usually has different layers. It has, you know, is multifactorial in nature. There are many triggers that can set it off. So it really doesn't work here. So what works here is to understand that your internal and external environment plays a huge role in determining uh, your chronic disease progression and when you can change certain aspects of your diet, your lifestyle, your thoughts and your beliefs, that's when true uh, healing happens, that's when you embark on your healing journey. So it, it means that realizing that change and healing are the same, change is not um, easy but it's not impossible either given the right kind of guidance and support which is exactly what I again do in my coaching program and you will find a lot of coaches out there etc who are specifically um, taught how to do this right how to help people make these changes so today's session I talked about the three changes in your mindset that uh, are key in uh, helping you to heal from any chronic disease the first one was accepting your body as it is right now. That's where you always start, right? Not sh not judging, not shaming, and not blaming your body for being ill. The second was uh, how to learn, uh, you know, to trust your body's uh, messages. It's all constantly sending you messages, mostly in the form of symptoms. And the earlier that you can sort of uh, take these to be this maybe early warning signals, you can a uh, lot of times reverse and stop disease progression and the third is realizing and uh, that ch change and healing are the same so that you're not scared of change right you know that this is your path to healing from you know from no matter what condition you are in and that you can always get better uh, you know irrespective of your disease diagnosis in fact um, body acceptance which is what i've been talking about here it forms is a core aspect of my healing program it uh, the healing uh, coaching program the coaching program uh, you know has three pillars which is simplify reconnect and sustain and body acceptance is one of the main aspects of that the other two are interconnectedness where you learn about the interconnections between uh, your internal environment external environments all the symptoms that you are facing uh, your diet your lifestyle your stress toxins in your environment everything and of course the other big aspect is how do you sustain uh, you know this health and wellness as you get you know start getting better which is uh, self-care uh, which again is a lot of times is missing from uh, a lot of these healing modalities because not only do you need to learn how to get well but you also need to know how to stay well right that's that's equally important so uh, before I end the session today if you have any questions if you're watching this on live do drop in 
your question below. Uh, if you like this session, uh, drop me an emoji below and uh, I will be sharing a link for you to schedule a free discovery call for 30 minutes. Uh, I am opening, uh, I have actually already filled up my um, you know, uh, coaching program, one is to one coaching program that I'll open up briefly. Uh, all the slots are taken, but I will be opening for re uh, enrollment in September and October uh, for again a very short, you know, uh, sh small number of women with the chronic health issues like autoimmune conditions. So, if you would like to learn more about how I, you can work with me, how functional medicine can help you, how this program has been designed and structured to support you and guide you on your healing journey then make sure that you head to the link in the bio and in the link below and schedule your free 30 minutes discovery call uh, once again thank you for joining me if you have any questions make sure that you drop in uh, below so that i can get back to you